What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. My name is Miles with Holiday World out of Dallas, Texas, and we just had this 2022 Renegade Verona LE, the 40 LTS, roll in, and I am super excited to get to look at this motorhome. If you don't know much about Renegade, Renegade is a very low volume, high quality RV manufacturer. So we don't get a whole lot of these in throughout the year. It's probably been about three months since we had any Renegade product on our lot. So really excited to get to take a look at this one. I do have this little rabbit looking thing on me today to try to help with the wind noise. So trying to elevate my videos here and make the production of them a little bit better. So hopefully the audio will sound a little bit better on here with some of the wind going on than it has in the past. But that's everything I got for right now. Let's go take a look at this thing. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. If this is your first time tuning into one of my videos, I'm super excited that you're here. Just sit back, relax, and enjoy. And if you get something out of this video, consider hitting the like button down below and definitely that subscribe button and become a part of this growing community of RVers all around the world. If you would like to connect with me on other social media platforms, links to my Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook are down below where I have a ton of RV content that is different from what is on YouTube. And then finally, I am in a sales position, so if you see something that you like out of this RV and want further purchasing information or just more information in general, or if you've seen any RV out there that you like, you can text me at the number on the screen and I would love to personally work with you and help you find the next RV or your first RV that will be a perfect fit for you. So text me at that number up above on the screen and it's also down below in the description and I would love to personally help you out. All right, y'all, welcome back to another video. Very excited to walk through this RV with you. And before we even get started, I just want to put out there that I am no certified RV expert. I sometimes misspeak, I sometimes say the wrong things. I do not intentionally mean to do any of that. If I do, I am speaking about everything on this RV from the off the fly, basically, and am not, you know, I don't have like a sheet of notes here with me or a sketched out framework of what to talk about. I just walk through the RVs and show you the things I'm looking at that I see. And if I misspeak on something, that is what the comment section is for. So you can add that value. Or if I miss something that you all know information about that I may not have touched on, add that into the comment section down below. Um, you don't need to be you know, rude or disrespectful if I miss something or misspeak on something. I certainly am not meaning to. But add that value into the comment section for the viewers if I do miss something that you know about this RV or that you may want to know and I can get those questions answered for you. So with that being said, very excited to walk through this RV today. This is a very beautiful looking Super C motorhome right at 40 feet. This thing is a diesel motorhome as well and it is going to be at our Dallas RV show. So fortunate enough to have enough time here to actually get a video of it. The last Renegade we had that came in lasted less than 12 hours before it sold. So from the moment it hit our lot to the moment it was sold was less than a 12 hour period. And that is typically what we experience with the Renegade product. So glad to be able to get a video of this one. And it will be, like I said, at the Dallas RV show, which will be next week. The, uh, it'll be February 24th through the 27th. So if you want to arrange a time to come look at this motorhome at that show, you can text me at the number at the screen and I would love to get a appointment time set up with you to take a look at this thing more in depth at the RV show. And we should have our reps out there as well um, that can answer even further questions too that sometimes you know they they have the deeper information because they're at the factory every day and deal with these things so with that said let's go take a look through everything on this rv we'll start with the outside and then work our way inside we have the slides closed out right now so we can get a look at how everything looks with the slides closed and this here is the 40 lts model so if we go to the other side you'll see you have two slide outs on this side and you're going to have an additional third slide on this side. So you get opposing slide outs in your living area. All of your slides are going to be covered by slide toppers. And then you also have um, roof mounted awnings that are on the roof there. So as we walk around here, this also has the, I, I always struggle with how to say this <laughs> exterior paint color, but it's the anthracite exterior paint scheme. So really clean looking paint scheme that you have on the outside here as well. All right, so as far as everything we're looking at is with the construction goes on this motorhome, it is on the Freightliner M2 106 chassis. So that is going to give you these two steps as well coming into both your driver and passenger side on that chassis. And it is on, it has the uh, Cummins L9 
engine. So the Cummins L9 diesel engine, we'll take a look under the hood here in a second, but that's gonna give you 360 horsepower and 1,150 foot-pounds of torque. Now, one of the big appeals to the Verona LE is this has a 20,000 pound towing capacity. So you can tow a lot of really big trailers behind this and they have a lot of really neat features that make towing really easily in something this size. Um, but these were originally designed for the racing industry. So people that wanted to have, you know, trailers in the back there for different vehicles, that's what these were designed for. And that is what this is really suited for to have that 20,000 pound towing capacity if you do want to tow something big behind this RV. Not saying that you have to, but they do have it there. You're also going to have the Allison TRV 3200 six-speed transmission. So a nice Allison transmission. You have air brakes on this RV as well. And you have the four-wheel uh, ABS system or the anti-lock braking system. Uh, you have a trailer brake controller, got the rear air suspension, and that's pretty much everything for just some of the construction aspects of it. We'll look at a lot of, a lot of this stuff more in depth as we go around. But what I wanna do now is I wanna open up all the storage compartment doors so you can see what all the storage compartments look like as we go around this side and then we'll do the same on the other side as well. All right, so starting from the back side, you're going to have a small storage compartment here. You're gonna have your central vac hose here. And this, I, this looks like some tile replacements here that it'll come with as well. So some pieces of replacement tile if you need that. You have your central vac system in here as well. You also have a light in here. And then just nice way that it's laid out here, really clean finish. This is a very like rigid, durable carpet type finishing that you have. You have an outlet that that's plugged into back there as well. And then all of your storage compartment doors, a couple things to talk about with them. First of all, they're all strut assisted. So they will be on that strut assist there. And then they are all slam latch. So the easiest way to close them is just shut them hard. Through here, you're gonna have a pass-through storage compartment. And then another thing I wanna point out with Renegade and their storage compartment doors is you have metal finishing all throughout here. So a lot of motorhomes use like plastic compartments here, but this is all metal. So everything throughout your storage compartment doors is all metal, very nice, high quality finish. You can see you have heat running into your storage compartments as well. And then this, sorry, this actually, I said pass through, this is not pass all the way through. This has a wall that it hits there at the back. So I wanna correct myself on that there but a pretty big size storage compartment. Again, slam latch on that as well. Coming up to this side, you have a similar setup. This one has the ottoman that has storage inside of it. So this one does come with this ottoman here. You're gonna have some outlets in this one as well. And then you also have a spot here where you can run, you can open this up and feed um, electrical elements up through here to your outlets there. So you can keep the storage compartment doors closed. As we come around this side, another storage compartment light in that one as well and then you have your aqua hot system so this is the aqua hot 450d so if you don't know anything about aqua hot i would imagine a lot of you watching probably do but this is basically your furnace and water heating system so there's three different ways that this can generate heat it can generate heat from your diesel fuel supply it can generate heat using heat from the engine and it can also generate heat from your 110 electrical system as well so you have three different ways that it can generate heat and this is going to be basically a on-demand hot water heater so this is going to give you a tankless hot water system that is going to give you unlimited hot water supply. And then it is also going to be feeding all of your furnace heat as well. So a very great efficient system that they use for all your heating elements that has all those three different sources that you can draw heat from. So there's really no way that you're stuck in a situation where you can't access heat with how this aqua hot system is set up. So that is part of what helps make this a completely propaneless coach. So you're gonna have no propane in this RV and this aqua hot system is part of what makes that possible. Coming up to the front here, you do have two dual 50 gallon uh, gas tanks here or diesel tanks. So you have 50 gallons on this side, 50 gallons on the other side. You can fill them from each side individually or you can streamline them to fill from one side simultaneously, but usually recommended to fill them from both sides separately and it's a little bit quicker that way. Coming up front, you can see this is just such a nice finish on this Freightliner chassis that you have and just looks really clean, really mean looking as well. And I love the design of the Super C's. And one of the biggest benefits to the Super C is the safety aspect of it. So with this here, you have your engine all up underneath this compartment here. And we'll actually open this up so we can take a look under there. So as I walk around, you're going to have your engine components all back behind here. and 
The biggest safety feature to this is if you were to get in any sort of head-on collision versus a Class A motorhome, you have all of this structure here that is going to take that first initial impact if you were to get into any head-on collision, whereas in a Class A motorhome, you basically have a windshield between you and the impact. So this is going to be much safer if you were to ever get in any sort of head-on collision, and that is one of the big advantages to a Super C over a Class A motorhome. In addition to that, in your driver's cab area, it also feels much more like a truck than it does a bus, so the driving style feels quite a bit more natural. Um, I have drove these things around quite a bit, and prior to working here, I had never driven something this big, and this definitely makes it a pretty comfortable experience. So let me fire this engine up and let you see what that sounds like. So you hear pretty loud. This is your diesel engine here. It's the Cummins diesel engine. And just wanted to give you a chance to see it with everything running on there. I know you probably can't hear me very well. So that's going to be your engine setup up here up front. And a couple last notes on the Super C versus Class A discussion. Another advantage to the Super C as well, having your engine up here, you can see how easily accessible it is. There's a lot of people looking to purchase Class A's that could not even tell you where the engine is on a Class A or how to get to it. Obviously, this is much easier, much more accessible, and much easier to work on, whether you're doing it yourself or taking it to a mechanic to work on it. Much easier system to work on than a Class A. One last little nice feature is you have the soft close on this hood here. So as you push that down, you can see it has a nice soft closing mechanism there. Just a nice little touch. And then these latches are how you will secure that in so that it doesn't fly open there. Oh, trying to do this with one hand and not looking a little tough. There you go. Get that secured there. So that's how you will keep your hood secured in place. Now, as we keep, continue walking around, you can see you have your side camera right here. So you will have side and backup cameras on this motorhome. You're going to have heated mirrors, so the mirrors will all be heated if you are in colder conditions and need those to heat up. And then coming around this side, like we talked about, you have the additional slide out on this side and we'll open up all the storage compartments over here to see what we're looking at on your driver's side of the motorhome and your storage compartments. All right, so starting from the back, you're going to have your electric power cord reel. So your power cord is on an electric reel here. Makes it very nice. You don't have to find a place to store that and you don't have to haul around a big heavy cord. And then you also have a surge protector built in with the RV. This one does come with the mud flaps as well. So you get the nice Renegade RV mud flaps underneath. This has a Onan Quiet Diesel 8,000 watt generator. So you'll have that 8,000 Cummins diesel generator. Coming up here, this is one of the features that really points out how just well built Renegade is. This is all metal all throughout here. So no plastic whatsoever. There are some motorhomes I've seen that are much more expensive than this Renegade that have all like plastic or fiberglass finishing throughout here. And this is all metal. So all your water station connections are right here. You can see even like your hoses on a reel there that you have and you have a sewer hose storage compartment here as well. And just a really compact compartment in here. Plus you also have a water filter system built in as well. So all your water hookups, then you can see all your dump stations here run through these lines and then you have these big openings throughout here so you can feed sewer hoses into there to connect onto here and run out to your dump station. And that just runs through to this side on this compartment door. Coming underneath here, more heat fed storage so you can see the heat vent in here. And then you have the Victron Energy Solar Charge Controller. So this is working with an inverter and you have uh, three 175 watt solar panels on the roof. So a lot of solar capacity and this is going to be giving you all of your communication from the solar panels to your batteries and to the inverter to power things in the RV and keep your batteries charged off of that solar system. And then finally, you're going to have all your batteries down underneath here. Um, it looks like you have these, I haven't even looked at these yet, these really big AGM batteries right here. And then you have two more. Those are probably the engine batteries there to um, start up your RV, but really big batteries here. I actually haven't seen this compartment yet until just now looking in here and how big those batteries are. And you have a light underneath here as well. And that is just about everything for your storage compartments. And I believe that completes just about everything on the outside as well. 
The only things we can't see are the solar panels that are on the roof, and then we also have the awnings that are roof mounted as well that are armless awnings, so it's really nice when they come out. I don't have them out because I just don't want to get into any problems with wind picking up or anything like that, but you will have the roof mounted awnings as well. Really nice looking finish on the back, and the last thing that we haven't really looked at or touched on yet is the 2,000 pound towing capacity on this hitch here. So a really bulky hitch, and it has, as you can see, a 2,000 pound gross trailer weight and a 3,000 pound tongue weight rating on your trailer hitch. So a really nice system there as well. And that just compl about completes everything on the outside. So we'll go take a look on the inside with the slides closed, and then we'll open this thing up and take a look at it fully opened. So as you walk up to the door here, a couple different things that are really nice. First of all, you have the um, keypad here for locking entry there. You have a nice, really good finished grab handle. And then I want to talk about real quick that we are a Priority RV Network dealer. So when it comes to any service that you may need, as far as the um, coach aspect goes of the RV, anything on the inside here, there are 130 different dealerships across the United States that we're partnered with where you can get into the front of the line at their service departments if you are on the road traveling. So if something like an AC goes out or you have a major water leak or anything like that that may be preventing you from being able to use your RV properly, any of these 130 different dealerships across the United States not only will get you in their service department, but will get you in the front of the line at their service department. So that is a huge benefit to being a Holiday World customer that is no cost to you. It is just part of being one of our customers. And then in addition to that, I usually try to film in our campground but back in the corner of our lot over here, unfortunately we don't have any like big mountain views or rivers flowing through it or anything like that, but it is a campground that our customers can use for free. So if you were to purchase an RV from us, you actually can stay back there for free for a few days and try out your RV, make sure that everything works properly, make sure you understand how to use it. You could even drive it around our lot a little bit if you need to. And then also if you are like living out of your RV and you need to bring it back to us for service, you can stay in our campground while your RV is being worked on. So we have motorhome customers that do that all the time where they bring their RV back for service and while we're working on it, they just stay back there in our campground. That way they don't have to find a hotel while it's being worked on. So a lot of big benefits to being a Holiday World customer and we don't charge you to use our campground. If you're a customer of ours, you can use it for free. If you are a customer of ours, you don't get to use it. So dang it, I almost forgot. I hope this isn't locked. Okay, perfect. We almost forgot to look at you have a Samsung TV out here with a Samsung soundbar. So really nice outside entertainment system as well. Plus you have USB connections underneath here and really nice entertainment system there. So cool to see that as well. Let's finally get inside. I apologize for taking so long to get there. So as you walk in, I first want to point out you have your backlit step there. So when it's darker outside, that looks really pretty. And as we come inside here, this is gonna be with the slide outs fully closed. So, so you have your refrigerator directly when you walk in. So quick, easy access when you're on the road or anywhere to get to your refrigerator. And then as we walk around, you can see with your slide outs closed, you have slide outs on both sides in here. You still have a walkway to get all the way through. I think at its shortest point, it's about 11 to 12 inches to get through here. So you can easily walk through this entire motorhome. They give you this nice little layout here to get through all the way up to your driver's cab. And we'll take a look at some of this stuff more in depth when we get this thing opened up, but just wanna walk through it with everything closed first for you to take a look. Then coming back to your bathroom, you're gonna have a full walkthrough in the bathroom so that you're gonna have your sink and medicine cabinet on this side here. And then you'll have your bath, your bathroom with your toilet and shower on this side. And then finally, full access to the bed with the slide outs closed. That bed is in a slide out there, so it does go and hit your wardrobe storage here. But you still have access to quite a bit of wardrobe storage with that slide out closed, and you have a TV in the bedroom as well. So that is everything with the slides closed. Now let's open these things up and see what it looks like fully open. So you see here with all your slide outs out, you have the two slide outs on this side, and you will have the additional slide out. This is going to be the biggest of three. This is about your three foot slide out here on this side. So three slide outs on this motorhome. They all have slide toppers. You can see they are all covered. And then that WineGuard Road Trip T4 satellite antenna there is going to be your satellite that is on the RV. So a couple different aspects on the top and let's walk inside, see what this thing looks like fully opened up. 
So as we walk inside here, we'll first talk about you have your step override. So if you want your step to stay open because it is an electric step there. If you want that to just stay out or stay in, you can lock that. You can see you have your battery disconnect here. So this is going to be just to kill all the power to your batteries if you want to do that. And then you have this little control here that is going to control a lot of your energy consumption here with your inverter and your solar panels. That's part of the Victron energy system there. And then as we come up into here, we'll take a look around and then we'll go through some different stuff. Let me close the door behind me. So refrigerator again, right when you walk in and as you see this fully opened up here, tons of floor space with this third slide that you get. Um, I say the third slide that you get because when you compare this to something like a Renegade Valencia that's at a lower price point, one, you lose a lot of features that this has, but you also don't have that third slide. So the Verona LE is going to give you the third slide out. You can see the really nice finishes in the woodwork here. Looks really beautiful. And then you have the dinette sofa here with a collapsible table, so you can make that into a bed. You have the three cushion sofa here, two cushion sofa here, and a retractable TV. So you actually have a TV that will pop up out of here and you have another sound bar up above this area here that is very well concealed and looks really clean. Let's come around this side. So then you're gonna have all of your kitchen elements here because this is a full propane or a propane list, sorry, a propane list RV. Let me put this down there. Also all solid stone countertops. Lift this up and you have an induction cooktop. So pretty neat to see there. Again, makes it so you need no propane for this RV whatsoever. We lift up this panel here. These things are a little heavy. Then a nice backsplash behind there that's all stone and grout. So a really good finish on there. Then you can see all the nice LED lighting that you have throughout here underneath all of your cabinets running up through the woodwork. Um, just makes it look really beautiful in here. You also have a soft touch ceiling. So a really nice feeling ceiling there. You have the LED lights all throughout. And it's just a beautiful looking RV. And one thing I really like about these motorhomes too, all the touch screen, or not touch screen, but all the panels that you have all throughout this RV, these things are located everywhere. So you have different sources to turn things on and off. Pretty much anywhere where you have a comfortable spot to sit, they put those. So I like to see that as well. Then you have your driver's cab area up here with all your storage. I'm gonna kind of just walk through everything and then we'll get into things more in depth in a second. Coming back to your bathroom area, you're gonna have washer dryer in here. So as you open this up, you'll have, that looks like the yeah dryer up top, washer down below. You have the washer and dryer installed from the factory. And then like, look at how solid these hinges are on here. I mean, really, really solid construction all throughout and again everything is hardwood finishing so not just your cabinet and drawer doors but everything all throughout here so like if you're to open up a drawer here in the bathroom this is all solid hardwood all throughout so something you don't see in a lot of other stuff out there and then these also soft closed drawers as well so you have your bathroom all throughout here sink with your medicine cabinet set up and then across from that you're going to have your bathroom set up here with a seat in the corner shower. Good ceiling height in here. The ceiling height is probably about six, nine, I wanna say. It's gotta be about six, nine. So you have quite a bit of ceiling height there. Even with the elevated shower, you are going to have room in there to be about six, 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 seven with the skylight and still be able to fit in there. And then coming over here to your bedside, move my jacket out of the way cause it got kind of warm on me. You'll have your king bed in here and then you can see it's just nicely finished out all the way around you have nice cabinet storage around there a huge mirror along the back wall and then underneath your bed oh i didn't lift that up right maybe i did and then underneath your bed you actually have your 150 gallon fresh water capacity underneath here so that's two 75 gallon water tanks and that is gonna be where all of your fresh water is coming from. So you have 150 gallons of fresh water in this motorhome. So 
close that down there. You're going to have all your wardrobe storage in the bedroom here. We'll open all this up in just a second, give you a look at that and your TV. But let's get back out to the living area here and take a look at all your storage that is in this living area. All right, we have everything opened up here. So first going along all your seating here, you can see that all four of these cabinets are unobstructed. So it goes all the way through here for all your storage. And then these all stay up on their own. Again, just look at the quality of the hinges that you have on here. And then same thing with these four over here. These are all unobstructed as well. Coming up front, you have this storage compartment here where your auto leveling system also is at. And then you have your cab ceiling lights as well, plus a satellite hookup connection for a TV. And then closing that, you have more shelving storage here with outlets up above the driver's cab area. And you have more storage here as well. Also up above this area, you have some speakers sitting here as well. Now coming along this side into your kitchen, you're going to have, again, the solid hardwood finishing all throughout here. Looks really nice. And then you have all of your hookups for TV inside of all this cabinetry here close that up close that up and then this is going to be some of your um, drawer space that you have so these three different drawers and then i actually found some literature here as well so you can see on this sheet here some of the different information from renegade you can see the msrp price on this motorhome is if i can get this to stay up 416 so that's the msrp price not our sales price but the msrp price on that is 416 204 um, if you want to know our sales price i actually do not know off the top of my head so text me at the number on the screen and i would love to get you more purchasing information and set up a time for you to come see this in person if you would like so text me on the screen for that um, you can see here it averages about nine miles per gallon the annual fuel cost that's estimated is about about six thousand dollars just about and you have all your different specs here for everything that is on this motorhome so a whole lot of information this thing always goes crazy when i try to angle that down so i'll try to hold it up see if you can uh see everything there if you want to try to screenshot that and uh take a look at all that stuff more closely you can see that there but this is also going to be you know all on their website as well so and we're going to talk through a bunch of this stuff so Finally, moving on to the storage here, you have more storage underneath here. Again, everything throughout here is all solid hardwood. And then you have this really nice compartment here. This locks to keep it from sliding. But when you unlock it, slide this open, and this is going to be like your pantry space that you'll have in your kitchen. All your electrical components are going to be all in this compartment right here. Close all that up. And then that's just about everything. The only other storage I think I've missed is you have these really nice pull out drawers here. Now these have the cushions in them currently to make this into a bed when you pull that out. So if you want to take those out, then you would have additional storage there. That'll be the same thing underneath here as well. And that is just about everything. Again, just look at how beautiful the flooring looks in here. Absolutely love it. Um, a couple other aspects to talk about real quick. You do have two ACs on this motorhome, So you have one here and you have one back in the bedroom, right back underneath here. And these are both gonna be ducted together. 
So you can see you have your vents running along the ceiling here. So you have a racetrack system of ventilation going on with those two ACs working together. And I think that's just about everything. Let's go, actually, you know what? Let's take a look at this real quick because this should pull out and make into a bed here. So let's take a look at how that does this. Okay, so you can see as I pull this out here, the legs automatically come out. I'm going to flip this back. And then you remove this back cushion right here. This cushion is pretty thick and heavy, actually. I'm surprised the, the quality of this cushion here. Very solid quality cushion that you have. But you actually have a full-size bed here for another sleeping arrangement that didn't take me more than 10 seconds to put out. So that will be your second bed that you have in this motorhome if you do need the additional sleeping com uh, configuration. And then you also have this that will collapse down into a bed as well if you want to use that for a sleeping space. Close this back up here. Pretty much is just pretty much just folds right up in here. Pretty simple to use. Folds up in and then show you underneath here too, you have your seat belts there. So you do have seat belts for this seating space here as well. Pop this cushion back in. Oh goodness. Camera going crazy. pop that cushion back in and now you have your sofa. Also have an outlet and two USB ports next to the couch there. Plus you have two outlets and four USB ports at your dinette table. Even your dinette table is solid stone. So again, really good finishing there. On all your windows, you're going to have the MCD roller shades. So you'll have the day and night shades on all your windows. A nice finished nightshade as well that looks better than just the flat black. So nice finish on that. And then this here should also make into a bed as well. Yep, this is going to be like a jackknife sofa here. So a smaller sleeping arrangement here, but it does make into a bed if you do want a bed arrangement. So you can just flip that back up like so. Real easy to do. Just did that with one hand and you got that back into a sofa. Underneath here. Man, I do not know where the TV controls are. Then last couple things with your kitchen area. This here is going to be the Samsung refrigerator and this does have the convection combo as well. So you can see a really big microwave convection oven combo that you have and it has all of your different settings here for whatever you may be cooking. Um, another thing that I wanna talk about, the interior color of this is the smoky, to, I, I don't know how to say that word. I feel like I'm gonna sound really dumb if I try to say it. <laughs> That's what your interior color uh, scheme is on there. So I don't know how someone could uh, put in the comments how to say that word, but if you know how to put in the comments how to say that word, let me know. Um, so that is going to be everything. Finally, let's look at your sink in here in the kitchen as well. So stone coverings for your sink. This is a real solid, good feeling sink there. It's not stainless steel. It is like a um, plastic material, but it, you can tell it's a really thick plastic. And then you're going to have your faucet there that will pull out. And again, your water system on this is all using um, the aqua hot system. So you have on-demand hot water. Also want to point out on here, they have this true tank technology that is going to be dependable tank level reading system that is accurate within 5%. Um, sometimes the tank level readings on RVs can be a little off. So they're giving you a system there that they claim to be is always accurate within 5%. So that is a nice system as well. And that is pretty much everything in this kitchen slash living area that we have again you have the retractable tv here so you will have the tv that will pop up and cover that window when you need the tv source you can see it framed out throughout here as well and we'll head back to your bathroom and kitchen area and on our way back here you'll see your touchscreen control panel here so this is going to control everything on the rv this will also link to your phone so you can link this to your phone and get control on your phone for this as well ton of different stuff going on on here. You have your master light switch. You have your water tank levels here. You have your turning on and off of your tank heaters. Um, you have start and stop for your generator. 
You also have the automatic gen start as well. So this can automatically start the generator if it needs it to draw power to keep the motorhome running. You have all your light controls here so you can control the lights for everything in this RV and you have different zones there. All your generator controls, all your temperature controls for your climate control. You can see you have like your heat pumps here for your AC. So the ACs do have a heat pump. You can also turn the aqua hot system on on a high or low setting. And then you're going to have your fan controls here, the TV lift here for the up and down. And then you have your in motion satellite as well. And then finally your slide out controls. And then you have all your um, settings here as well. So a really nice system. You can see it's very responsive when I touch on there as well. So definitely appreciate that. It's quick responsiveness definitely is an important feature. And then you also have some storage right up here that I missed that is right when you walk in. So you'll have that storage there as well. Now, I just realized, I apologize if the, if the video seems a little crooked. I'm filming with my GoPro and they have this horizon leveling system that tries to keep it level with the horizon. And sometimes when a motorhome isn't perfectly leveled, it makes it look like things are a little crooked. So I apologize if that has been the case. Again, we have our washer dryer in here. So we looked at that. Just want to remind y'all that that is there. And let me also open up the refrigerator here. They have this nice locking mechanism. So this will not open while you're going down the road until you flip that up. And then this is going to be the Samsung refrigerator. So you'll have all that space in there. And underneath here, oh, this is locked as well. Almost forgot. You have the locking mechanism right there to unlock it. And you're going to have a nice deep compartment underneath here and ice tray as well. We looked at the bathroom already, but I want to point out that you have these controls in the bathroom as well. And then you're going to have a toilet that has different flushing mechanisms here. So you have like an eco flush and a normal flush, or if you just want it to be empty, you can also fill the tank on there as well. You can see underneath here, it is a porcelain toilet with a soft closed toilet seat. So real quality components there as well. And then you have a sliding pocket door for this restroom. So this will be the sliding pocket door that is latched up here so it doesn't move while you're in motion and you also have the max air fan in here as well so really nice looking bathroom area directly across from it you're going to have let me toss my jacket out of the way here storage compartments here in the bathroom and open that up really nice finished out shelving here in the medicine cabinet again all solid hardwood all throughout shelving space under in the bathroom and then you have your three drawers that pull out here these are some deeper drawers these second two and you still have your led lighting all throughout underneath here as well so still making it look really clean and it is like a warmer tone led lighting so it does have a nice warm tone to it coming into your bedroom again you're going to have a sliding pocket door that will lock for this bedroom you have the ceiling fan in here so you get a ceiling fan in the bedroom as well which is a nice feature a really nice finished out headboard area and you're going to have all your storage compartments up above here all these stay open so nicely i love how nice it is that these stay open and again th even this here is all solid hardwood in your finishing so that goes all the way through there to the other side so you'll have ample storage above the bed really big storage compartments really comfortable bed as well this is going to be like a memory foam style mattress that it comes with you have your reading lights up above each individual and you have another control panel here that also has a generator start function as well as many light controls and things of that nature on both sides of the bed you have an outlet and usb ports so you'll have that there and here and then going to your wardrobe storage, really big wardrobe storage. And I love the light mechanisms on these. I'll show you how these work in just a second. Get that to stay open. We are slanted downhill just a little bit. But these lights here, they come on as soon as you open the door. So they're motion activated lights that shine back into the closet space. And you have a ton of wardrobe space there. More down in here as well. And then you have your four drawers here. So those will all be the same size. Then you have a nice countertop space. Again, stone finish on that. 
storage space, all your TV hookups down underneath this area, and then two more drawers that will pull out for storage. You also have nice lighting here. So those will be like a um, light for just seeing where you're walking around at night. And then again, a Samsung TV in the bedroom as well. Another control panel here for your bed slide and then your fan, your lights, and then this is your thermostat controlling your temperature or not controlling it, reading your temperature. You have the AC in here. It is a Coleman Mach Q series AC. So this is going to be 12 decibels quieter than a standard AC system. So going to be very quiet there as well. And I believe that's just about everything in this bedroom area. Let's go up to the driver's cab area and we'll finish up there. So as we start to look up front here, we're gonna have quite a few different features. First of all, these are going to be an air ride seat. So these will bounce up and down as you're going down the road, are very comfortable, very, very soft feel on the material here. And then it has an adjustable height armrest, so you can lock that into whatever height you want. You're also going to have heated seats on this as well. And then looking around your dashboard here, a couple different things to look at. First of all, you're going to have your cruise control settings over here. So hopefully make sure you can actually see these here, but your cruise control settings will be over here. So you'll be able to turn that on and off and then you can accelerate faster or slow it down or set it with this switch here, moving that up and down. You're gonna have light controls here, all of your dashboard, everything going on here for your speed and fuel. And then you have your Allison six speed transmission here. So a really nice transmission system. You have your fog lights here. You have your engine brake, which is going to have two different settings on it. Um, so you can have a more aggressive setting or a lighter setting for the engine brake. And then on this switch here, I actually have not played with this enough. I actually do not know exactly what this switch is here. So if you know what that is, let me know down below in the comments. And then uh, coming around here, you have your power windows. These are going to be your mirror heat. And then you have your power locking system. This is for a brake controller. So if you have a trailer on the back, that's going to be your brake controller there that is going to adjust the sensitivity for your brakes on there. You have, this is going to allow you to adjust the height of your rear suspension. So whether you are doing it for leveling purposes or if you are hooking up a trailer, this is going to lower down your rear suspension there. Um, this is a spot lamp, so that's gonna be for lighting there. This, I actually do not know exactly what this switch is here. So if you have an idea what that switch is there, let me know down below in the comments. This is a lane alert, so you can turn this on and off here, but this is basically if you're swerving out of your lane, that is going to alert you that you're doing so. These are docking lights here, so if you're backing up into a campsite, you will be able to um, have lights back there for your backup camera, because if we were to put this into reverse here, if you put it into reverse, we don't actually have it in, a, we have the parking brake engaged still, so it won't actually show you, but. Um, if you put it into reverse, it'll show the backup camera on here. And then also, if you do the side camera there, you can see it goes to your side camera. Or if you put the blinker on, it goes to your side camera. So you'll have all your different camera settings there. Then you also have a, a trailer camera. So if you had a trailer camera um, hooked up into the wiring here on the back where the hitch is at, you can actually access the trailer camera from here as well. Um, and then this here, this is going to be working with your cruise control so this basically will adjust your speed if you are you know getting close to oncoming traffic it'll slow you down automatically and then it'll speed you back up when you have more space between you and the car in front of you then finally you have your dash air controls here and this here should flip down have a little ashtray there and find your cup holders so that is everything up in this driver's cab area give you one final look of everything up in the driver's cab you have some little storage compartments up above as well. And that is just about everything in this uh, Renegade Verona LE. So that is all I got for you there. Hopefully you enjoyed that video. Again, this motorhome is going to be at the Dallas RV show that is next weekend. That is February 24th through the 27th of 2022. So you will be able to purchase it there at that RV show. No one is able to purchase it prior to when that show starts. So it'll be there to take a look at. You wanna schedule a time to come take a look at it, you can text me up with the number on the screen and I would love to help you out at the RV show. I'm almost certain that this thing will sell at that show. So I would be surprised to see it last through that weekend. So if you are interested in this RV and want more information, text me at the number at the screen and I would love to help you out. 
And that's all I got for y'all. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button down below and definitely hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And until next time, I'll see you out camping or I'll see you at the Dallas RV Show.